right, we'll get started. Um, fantastic round today, Chris. I, I think uh, you got to be pretty pleased with where you're at. I know the leaders came back a little bit. Uh, you also had a, had a pretty solid round out there. Just talk about what you had going right today. Yeah, um, I still didn't hit the ball as well as I did the first day today, but um, I got a, I got a, I really hung in there. I a lot of gave myself a lot of good looks, and then I got this, I got on a good tear there. I think I made four or five birdies in a row. And you know, um, you can do that with this golf course. There's a lot of a lot of wedges. Um, but I tell you what, if you do not hit a fairway, you're going to struggle to make par. And that's really my focus. Every hole I get up on, I'm doing everything I can to get that ball in the fairway. Even though the fairways are very soft, they're pretty tight. And you get just a couple inches, a couple of feet into the rough, you're going to have a hard time getting the green. So, um, you know, I played well today. Uh, had a couple of loose shots there. Um, I missed one short putt uh, on 17 for birdie. But other than that, it was very solid. I gave myself a chance. And uh, like I said, I'm, my, my number in my head is try to get to 20 under. And, uh, depending on the conditions tomorrow, I'm sure they'll be pretty similar. That's that's the goal. Just try to get to 20 under. Don't worry about what the leaders are doing until the last couple of holes if I have to change my strategy. Those that uh, maybe haven't followed you that closely, you had a, a playoff against uh, Ken Duke at the Travelers last year where I think on the 18th hole you chipped in from about 50, 60 feet off the green. Uh, I'm sure you'll use that experience uh, to try to get your first win tomorrow. Just talk about you know, progression since that and what you learned that day. That's exactly, that's a great, that's exactly right. That's exactly what I'm doing. I'm, I'm pulling from all that experience and what I learned under the gun there was I don't need to try to do anything fancy. Um, I just need to stick to my game plan, keep hitting shots, keep hitting good quality shots, keep good, put myself in the right positions, keep hitting good putts, and stick to my strengths, which are you know chipping, putting, and wedges. Get myself in the fairway. Um, I'm fairly good you know, inside 170, 160 yards. I feel like with my irons, especially on this golf course, there's a lot of short irons and short wedges. So I give myself a lot of wedges tomorrow. Ball close and keep you know, putting the butter in my hands. Um, you know, hopefully, I'll give myself a good chance to get some questions. Uh, you, you talked about the the, the fairways. Um, did you have problems on the back nine making the fairways? And why do you think, in, in general, the back nine has been so problematic for the players? Um, you know, the, the back nine's a little longer. <laughs> It's a little more difficult, I feel like. I mean, you have a little more options on the back nine. You, you either hit, both, both sides have some holes where you can either driver or three wood or three iron lay up. But, you know, I, I'm choosing to hit driver basically every time. But, you know, it's just tough. That I think the back nine's a little tougher, a little longer, um, even though there are some short wedges coming in. Um, but yeah, my, my swing tends to, the last couple days, has gotten a little looser coming in the last, you know, few holes. Sort of a loose shot on 18 and got myself in some trouble. And really did a great job getting out of trouble to make a par there. But um, you know, it's just you just got to keep doing the same thing. These, these, these golf course is really pretty tricky. You got to be careful not to put yourself in some bad positions. And, and that's what I'm really focusing on the most. Is just put myself keep keep the ball in front of me. Let everybody else make mistakes. So you feel like today you didn't really make any major mistakes? Um, nothing major. Um, you know, I had, a, like I said, a couple of loose shots. I didn't quite feel comfortable on the one putt on 17 from like four feet for birdie. That was about the only thing I felt like I could have backed up and started over. Um, you know, the, the golf swing felt okay. It didn't feel great. It felt really good Thursday. Um, so I'm gonna go back out there and put a few more reps in and get the swing felt a little bit, a little bit sharper tomorrow. And you know, and uh, you know, hopefully go out there and give myself a lot of looks and give myself a chance see if I can catch these guys. So the course seems to I've talked to some players who enjoy it because if you play well, you can score. There's some good little scores out there, but if you don't, it'll identify you real quick. Yeah, it's it really accurate. going to spread out the field here, and that, that's a great test of golf. And that's the way all great golf courses do. When you're playing well, you can make a lot of birdies, but if you're just a little bit off, you're going to you're going to make bogey after bogey, a couple of doubles. I mean, I've gotten lucky a couple of times. I could have made a double today on I think that hole's 12. I had just Hit a great drive. I was just four feet in the rough. I had a good lie in the rough, but it was down slope over the water, and I caught a little of the rough on the way through. And it short went in the water, and I hit a great wedge to uh, three feet to make bogey. So there's a lot of holes out there like that, and even the short ones. I'm talking even was it 13, 14 maybe over the water. Just a, it's a four iron wedge over the water. If you hit it left or right in the rough, you're gonna have a hard time 
giving yourself a chance to make birdie, you can hit the water there. So um, I know if you're not sharp on this course, you can shoot a pretty good number. And my focus tomorrow is the same as it's been, just get myself in every fairway. And then from there, get myself on the green, keep myself in some good areas, and just hit the wedges as close as possible. Uh, played almost 200 PGA Tour events now. Come to Malaysia and you get your first one, perhaps. Would you, you could consider yourself an honorary Malaysian at that point? Would you yeah, that would be, be pretty yeah. special. Um, you know, I, I've done a lot of thinking. Obviously, the last few years I've learned quite a bit about the PGA Tour, but my coach and I really have sat down. Um, we sat down this last week and we talked hours about what do I need to do to win a golf tournament. And uh, I think. I think I really have figured it out. I think I need to uh, play one or two tournaments max in a row and just practice, practice, practice at home. Put a lot of reps into the golf swing. Get the golf swing a lot sharper than what it usually is. And I think in the past I've had a, you know, I've given myself an idea. Hey, I need to go play three, four in a row and get the get golf going. That that's the case sometimes. But in my case right now, as sharp as my short game and my putting are, I need to just get the golf swing really sharp. And right now. It worked. I mean, this last week, we, four days in a row, I must have hit 2,500 balls and three times that in reps. So that's, I think, that's my recipe. And that's what I used to do back in college when I played really well. I was really successful at that. I only played a few tournaments a year. Just reps, reps, reps. And do it like the guy, the best guys in the world. Tiger, Phil, um, Steve Strip. They're playing 13, 14, 15 events a year. 15, I guess 15 to 18. And they're coming prepared to win. And, and that, that's what I want to do. Really, I've tried everything else. I'm going to try this. Congratulations on a good first three rounds, and good luck tomorrow. Thanks, Chris. Appreciate it. Thanks.